my name's Emily, welcome to my channel. I make home education, vloggy, van life style videos uh, with my eight-year-old daughter Rosie. Excuse the lighting, <laughs> I can't figure out where to stand. Um, yeah, we didn't post last week because my birthday last week and I had a friend staying for the week just to kind of like help out and like go a couple of places, not many, just kind of foresty, woody places because I needed to get out of the city. <coughs> but we started foraging. And from our foraging, I'll turn you around. A wreath. This is one of my LED candles. Um, so this is just made of ivy, holly, pine. Um, and then we've got some bows on there and a fake poncetta from the shop. Um, these were from my local random stuff shop. Need to go back and get some more. Um, so we started making those kind of things, which was really cool. So we got one in the garden one there, and we made one for my mum for Christmas. Well, they're really quite easy to make, they're lovely. Um, I just bought a base of one for one ninety nine in Sainsbury's. That It was basically dying, but all the decorations came with it and the frame for one ninety nine. so I kind of figured. We've also figured out how to make these cool Christmas stars or Yule stars, whichever you prefer to look at them as. Um, so yeah, we um, had our Yule log which we haven't burnt or decorated this year because we're just trying to find our way around it and this one it was not a good place to burn any of the candles anyway um to really do any of that uh but yeah uh for those of you following us properly uh rosie went without anything that wasn't essential i think she opened two things on christmas day with me which were both clothing one was a pack of knickers because um she hadn't behaved well enough um she does have presents from other relatives that she has been told that now Christmas is over and it's not about commercialising Christmas. If she can behave, then I shall select a present that she may have at the end of each day that she chooses to behave. So um, she's presently up in her room tidying up to show me that she can respect her stuff by uh, first of all looking after the environment that she lives in. So hopefully she is upstairs doing what I asked her to do, which hanging some clothes up and some things away earlier she got out and hopefully tidying up her books. Um, she's got a bit of damp in her room at the moment, so she can't tidy tidy proper spick and span because she's got some bits that can't be against one wall and have been pulled out. Um, we also, um, every time we've had a, a roast dinner with um, my friend round, um, writing a blessing down on the blessings jar that we will look at in the new year, me and Rosie have also begun our things I want to do achieve in 2024. So Rosie has picturized hers again. I will draw pictures on mine, but mine's got more writing on things like the four waterfalls, Walker Slump, then in Brecon. I want to go to Snowdonia. Um, see Devil's Bridge in Aberystwyth. Get better with my bow because uh, I got bought a bow and arrow for Christmas. Uh, uh, get myself a new bed. See more of our friends. Um, see more of my other friends as well, but they're people that um, me and my friend met at Valhalla. Um, we also did these in the woods. We've been out chopping and sawing a lot, so we've been doing a lot of um, wood forestry stuff. Rosie's been learning as well. There's a picture of her sawing. Um, I did a Gaia on mine and then a Tree of Life on the other side, but I put mine in the garden and didn't think that my pens weren't waterproof, so she's actually completely washed off now, so I'll have to bring her in dryer out again and then do it and then vanish her to get her to stick. So start my vine tattoo, which is on the 16th of January. Um... So yeah, so this week so far, uh, yes, yeah, so it was Boxing Day, Rosie came back with my dad's, with clothes mostly, um, only a couple of things that she didn't really need because he was trying to follow suit. Uh, and then today we had a mummy daughter quality time day because we haven't had one of those in a while and she's going off to my parents next week for a couple of weeks. Um, so we're spending some quality time together because my friend's coming down tomorrow between shifts at work to take us back out to the forest to do some more foraging and get some more wood because we're enjoying having a fire pit. Um, so uh yeah today we went to the cinema and then we went for food in town and then we got caught in the horrible rain that is out there um but tomorrow hopefully the weather will be nicer if we're going to the forest to have a forage we want some more sticks to do these stars that um yeah now i know how to tie those knots and now i've learned relearned to slip knot i'm quite chuffed so uh yeah i'll put some pictures in now of what rosie's been up to and uh yeah so this is pre-Christmas, so I had to get some, well, wood fire sauce this far, which was the 21st. Rosie got to learn to use the little saw to make little discs with us. And then she rested with it. This is a forest fowl with a sculpture trail. 
Um, there's lots of lovely trees up there. That's our solstice fire. My friend does make a beautiful fire every time we shared it with my landlord because he was a bit down. We also gathered enough stuff to make our first wreath to see how it went. We did so well, we thought we'd make one for my folks and took it up to see my folks. Um, and then we learned how to make st sticks, star sticks. Um, I really learned to slip knot as well. And me and Rosie, after, this is after Christmas now, had a mummy daughter day to show that it's not all about the gifts because she didn't get anything for Christmas. As gift wise, it's all experiences and spending time with people. The point this year sort of thing. Um, and then we went for food after. Excuse her in the background. She's watching a panto right now. Um, then we also had some leftover bits to actually make an outside wreath. So yeah, there's our outside wreath. And then I had an idea to actually put a bird's feeder inside the star. And then this is my, uh, I found a big log in the forest and I have now sawed it up and chopped it, uh, axed it down into these pieces. So Rosie, um, we were out yesterday, we went into the forest again to do some rummaging and foraging and we got some more wood because we want to start using our fire pit more um, I, especially for like all the festivals uh and the solstices I, and I stuff. got a leg of star wars magazine and i built a that was the day before tank. in town rosie has done all the little bits in there she's built this little lego thing i've also because i wanted to learn more tank, about Mom. i wanted to learn more about the um pagan gods and stuff uh, and Norse came up with it, so uh, Vikings and stuff. So Rosie's doing a rune writer, figuring it out. She's got uh, a reading to do, a comprehensive reading thing to do, and yeah. questions. I tend to give her the hardest one. Twinkle has differentiated ones from really easy to hard. I tend to give her the hardest one because she is a capable writer. I just help her with the critical thinking of the answers with some of them. <clears throat> because it's too easy. The, the first two are way too easy, so they kind of need a an in-between... Um, but today, uh, we've not long moved, so uh, yeah, I still like a state. So today, we are um, going to go get some more twine because we've used a load on our stars. Oh, we got some more sticks yesterday. Well, it's not pajama day because we've got to go out. We can't go out in pajamas. But um, Ruchi's had her screen bed lifted for the television, so we've been able to watch a couple of pantos. And um, but her tablet's not being list, uh, lifted, and she's going to yeah. be allowed on a computer if I'm present and it's educational and the TV's educational or I've approved it uh, and see if, that, see if that helps her her attitude and stuff um, so we're also going to try and work out this sticker machine today that she got for Christmas she wasn't allowed anything unessential and she's also been told she can open a present today if she behaves and I hear no whinging and no nose and she starts to be a bit more mindful about how she speaks to me because she's perfectly behaved out and about Yesterday, I got a giant teddy bear from Kathy. Yeah, she got a giant teddy bear. I did tell her nothing essential, but um, not all my relatives have been particularly helpful with no, that. Mate, she got a lamp off one, which is great because it. Um, we thought it was going to be a new night light for her, uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It changes color, and she doesn't like it when it changes color, and she no, can't no, see everything. So. I prefer the cosmos. <coughs> one, but she's, not that one, but she's not stealing my little astronaut. Those of you who um, have seen the little astronaut on TikTok and the other channels, he's as good as he seems, and I got him off the TikTok shop for five ninety nine. Um, he's he's worth getting. Um, don't pay any more for him though. But uh, yeah, he's uh, yeah he's definitely worth getting. Uh, the stars, and the changing colour cosmos. He's yeah, just he's a lovely so light. You're not borrowing him. I have to buy you a new one if you arrive in time. So I'm going to wrap this video up here because uh, over the weekend I'm not sure what we'll be up to. But Rosie's still slowly doing a tiny bit of schoolwork, even though it's the holidays, just because we do it as and when we want to, rather than being dictated to by a system. So uh, for now, I shall say it's Anne Tatar from me and Tatar from the Rosie Bear.